Hey guys, I have another redstone video for you today, and what we have here is I guess what you would call a pulse counter. So what this does is because there's five items in here, uh, it'll take five button presses for me to turn that lamp on. So two, three, four, and five. There we go. So the lamp turns on and then the system resets so it's all ready to be used again. And uh, this could be used in something like a trading shop where it needs uh, something to count that amount of payment items before it starts returning the bot items to the person. So that's one uh, idea to use this creation in. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas, uh, I'm sure I will be glad to hear them and other people will too so uh, their three minutes of their life uh, isn't wasted watching this video to learn how to make a useless creation. So yeah, let's get started with building this useless creation. Uh, always good to learn how to do useless skills. Uh, so let's start off with the input and then a hopper dropper circuit. You haven't seen one of those on my channel in a while. And then you guys can uh, place um, five stacks of items, that's the max, uh, into the dropper. Uh, and that's the max that the system can handle. But for now, I'm just going to push three so I don't waste your time any more than I need to. And then once you do that, you want to get started by placing a sticky piston on this side, holding a redstone block, and then another sticky piston on the other side, just like that. Then after that, you want to get a uh, output from the hopper as well. That will be going into this piston here. And then finally, you want to lock the hopper by placing a dust there and a torch there. Now that's actually it for this creation. Um, so if we were to push this three times, it should activate and then should reset automatically. There we go. Now the way this works is uh, when I push items into the hopper, it stays there because of this torch. The torch locks the hopper so the items don't go back into the dropper. Uh, so once I reach uh, the third item, then once that gets the once the final item gets pushed into the hopper, then this comparator will turn off, of course, which will retract the redstone block. And uh, this little system here with the comparator and the dust and the redstone block, this acts as a sort of RS nor latch. Uh, so we could check that out now. So it'll stay locked until this comparator turns off. So we could uh, watch that again. This time, watch the left side. So this will stay activated until the comparator loses or until the hopper loses all of its items. And then finally the system uh, resets because the sticky piston pulls the redstone block back and turns off the uh, RS nor latch. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, goodbye.